and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mardu Angels. We uh, we had a lot of fun playing Mardu Angels before War of the Spark. This was a popular deck that we played on stream. Um, it looked a little different than this. This has uh, changed quite a few things around here. Uh, we played like more uh, more two drop. It was really a deck that was all about curving out, like two drop creatures, and then like uh, history banalia to go with the resplendent angels in the three drop slots, and then the other angels. And it just um, it did just it did its job of curving out uh, very effectively, and it had like the Kali honor guards in the main deck that uh, disrupted opponents, and it it was a pretty successful deck. However, since War of the Spark here, uh, there are a lot of Planeswalkers in the format uh, that can be really problematic for some of these angels. So I'm, I'm trying something a little different. So I had a, a donation here to uh, redo Mardu Angels for the new format. And so with all these Planeswalkers running around everywhere, I kind of wanted to go with the Immortal Sun because I thought about... You know, like the different planeswalkers I could be playing in this deck, like Soren would work pretty well. Of like, if we had like the other two drops, we could bring those back uh, with Soren and it'd give Life Link for a Splendid Angel. Um, and so like that that one would work. And then maybe we'd want like Angrath is just a really solid planeswalker. Or maybe Gideon. You know, so like there's like some other planeswalkers we could play, but then you know like the more kind of like thought about it and like kind of building that direction is just i want to be building like a mardu mid-range deck and not really an angel deck so i decided to scrap that because i wanted to keep it an angel deck and and you know go with angel heavy and uh in order to do that then since i wasn't gonna be playing the planeswalkers i think i want i wanted to move towards a mortal sun um for can for all these planeswalker decks and the other thing besides Immortal Sun that I wanted to be doing is that the two drops aren't aren't incredible in the deck, and uh, kind of the same with History of Benalia these days with like Little Teferi bouncing like half of the History of Benalia token already, and then you know and, and that kind of stuff, and all these like explore explore decks, all these Nissa decks with these mana creatures and everything, and so I thought like the the real a real strength of playing Mardu was the Deafening Clarions in the sideboard. I thought, what if we just put these in the main deck? Like, what if we just kind of build around uh, making this kind of uh, more controlling with having these Deafening Clarions in the main deck? Um, these angels at the top end that go above the, the Clarion, the Immortal Sun for the card advantage, and therefore going that way, we want Treasure Map as a two drop instead of like instead of the other things like Tithe Taker and Scotty Honor Guard because. Uh, with those with the uh, clarions so that's what we're going to kind of try here um that yeah so that's that's what we have going on here we have the duresses in the main deck because they're just good against everybody honestly um sideboard i have a third immortal sun also over there i have a, a command the dread horde against like the wild growth walker decks or even against like control decks uh where they're killing all of our stuff where our life total isn't under any pressure going to try a command the dread horde um more sweepers for the aggro decks mortify basically for mostly have this card uh for experimental frenzy um is the main reason why i have the mortify but then you know it also just destroys creatures as well war bosses to come in to replace clarions against control to spark very good against frenzy and you know also uh control decks and everything like that thought about playing to sparks in the main deck but deciding to have them over here in the sideboard um yeah i have a feather in here Fe yeah we don't have any spells to target feather no so like feather is just a, a three mana three four flyer in this deck the rest of the text isn't anything so it's a three mana three four flyer it survives deafening clarion with it being legendary aurelia being legendary i thought i thought it was better to play like one feather instead of two aurelias uh, like where you'd rather have one feather and one aurelia in hand kind of thing um and you know of course it is another angel that gets buffed by lyra and stuff like that um so yeah so that's kind of all the stuff about the deck uh we're going to go ahead and send it on over to the traditional constructed queue with it being a donation deck here and give it a try and hopefully it works out pretty good Hey Storm, welcome back. Yes, Jack, we're we are playing. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, eight of the angels have three toughness. Uh, all of those angels would get, like, the three toughness, if we have Dawnbringer or Immortal Sun in play, those will all go above Clarion, but... Um, the other thing about Clarion is, especially with this deck... Alright, I guess I'm going to go ahead and play this turn one, because I have Treasure Map, and then... And everything after this. Uh, let's see. The Sahili is probably going to be difficult for me to deal with. Um, the other thing about Clarion with this deck, since we have like all of these creatures in here with our Clarion deck, is we don't always have to deal the three damage. We can also use Clarion as just a source to gain a lot of life if we want to uh, just use the lifelink part of Clarion. That's certainly respectable as well. Uh, correct, Unbearded. It's Krasis is, is a card that helps Big Red uh, gas up, gain life, give it a, a really big flying trampler. Just an awesome card, so it's it's not difficult to splash for at all in the mono red deck. Hey, Zephyrs. Um, I'm excited with the new with the London Mulligan rule. I'm excited to 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 uh, you know play it and try it out and and see how it is and everything. I've never played a game with the London Mulligan rule yet. So I've just been playing lots of Arena over the last handful of months, and you know it's never been on Arena. So I'm excited to try it out and, and see how it is. Alright, well we got three lands down at the bottom of the library. Whoops. I didn't set something to... And then set an upkeep stop. So they need they need to draw another red source to be able to like coil plus strike this Dawnbringer. I'm gonna hope they can't do that. Or they don't they don't hit that. Oh no. That's bad. It's another Phoenix. So there's two Phoenixes over here now. Come on, no red, no red. No red. Let me untap. I mean, they just drew three cards so far. So now four cards. It's pretty likely they find a red source in four cards, but hopefully not. Hooray! No red source. Wow, and then they're not even playing a spell. Not even bringing back the Phoenixes. That's a good one.
Okay. So they can use two removal spells on the Dawnbringer. But that's both their removal spells now. Let's get this upkeep stop in. Yeah, Resplendent Angel just checks on end step. It doesn't check before that, as you see there. At the beginning of each end step. So that's what that's when it checks. At your end step, did you gain five life this turn? And yep. We gained five life. So yeah, you don't need to play it first. Let's do this land. Well, Seraph's okay. <laughs> we shouldn't be drawing lands too much. You see all those lands down there? Seraph's okay, but not like spectacular. You know, it isn't like really that good against Arclight Phoenix. I think I'm going to go bottom. That's good. Attack. <laughs> You're saying Seraph is better than random card? Uh, well, no, we have, we had, you know, like multiple draw steps too with our regular draw step and then Treasure Cove as well if we wanted to use. And I like where we're, where we are at. If our opponent plays the Crackling Drake, they're dead, so they can't play those. So they need to probably need to radical idea away one of them. And just Seraph is just okay against Arclight Phoenix, right? Like it doesn't like what's that Seraph going to do against an Arclight Phoenix? Just it doesn't match up too well there. That was a great card. Wait. Wait, what? Did they just coil the 3 3 and strike the 4 4? That's. Not ideal. And Clarion for the win. Got to get that eight life link in there. All right, so we're playing against Phoenix, which I guess I didn't really... I guess Despark, Despark's good against Phoenix. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we got we got some Exiles. I have, like, the one Contempt. Yeah, Despark's good here. Arclight Phoenix costs four. I don't really want a fourth Clarion. Uh, Daredevil's great. Duress is good. Yeah, Duress is good. Keep them, try to keep them from killing my stuff. Um... Don't think I really like Angrass Rampage. I guess, yeah, no, we don't need Rampage. Let's get another Clarion in here because it's Sahili. I guess Rampage does take out Planeswalker though. Yeah, Daredevil's awesome. Good call. Daredevil's awesome in this matchup. Let's get that in there. Um, and yeah, Seraph doesn't really 
do a whole lot. Aurelia, shall I? Yeah, maybe I take out Seraph. It's basically, Seraph's basically only good against, because I mean, this even gets Lightning Strike. It doesn't block Arclight Phoenix. It's basically only good against exactly Crackling Drake. Yeah, this could snag a Goblin on turn two. Could do that. Yeah, really is really bad against Crackling Drake, but good against Phoenix and Coil. I'm going third Immortal Sun. I, I kind of feel like these Phoenix matches, especially post board, can get really grindy. Hey, Gustava. Mardu is referring to the color combination black, red, and white. There you go, Jelly Tug. Said that also. All right, well, they went down to four. That's not very many cards. I guess I am duressing a spell from them, so I could love a, I could Daredevil whatever I duress, but yeah. Four card hand, just not gonna do it. No London Mulligan rule yet. Are you talking about for the, the basic lands, Batu, or are you talking about for the other lands? Okay, the, the dual lands. The um, the buddy lands, you can just craft the buddy lands with gems. For the for the shock lands, you need to buy you need to go to the store here on Arena and you need to buy the guild packs. Um, or the the guild kits, maybe they call them that. Something like that. Each individual guild kit has one of the shock lands as a card style in the store there. All right, looks like a good hand to keep. Hinterland Harbor does have a card style now. Um, that was in the latest update, whenever they added in the, how you can change the basic lands, um, about two weeks ago or so, Hinterland Harbor finally got the card style. All right, so we'll duress next turn and see if we need to play Dragon Skull Summit in the other duress or if we just get to play the Sacred Foundry in tapped. Um, in yeah, in the deck builder, you can now change the basic lands. Uh, you have to go to the like the advanced, you know, click like the advanced filter button um, on there and it has, you know, like all the options where you choose by set, for example. Um, or you choose, you know, like creature, planeswalker, artifact, like that kind of stuff. And there's one of those next to those creature, artifact, planeswalker, enchantment. There's one that says basic lands. And so you click the basic land one. And that then all the, the basic lands come on up. So it's a little unfortunate that our Deafening Clarion is not going to be able to kill this Growth Chamber Guardian here. It's possible they just play the Spellbreaker and attack for five. That's possible. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, Elysia. I have done a lot of competing in magic tournaments in my day. And now I'm a stay at home content creator. More relaxing life. Yep, now I'm old. I am old. Older than you think. Ugh. So I got the old man job. It's odd. Must be having a little bit of... mana trouble. Or sorry, sorry. Uh, connection trouble. Or something, because, yeah, they just ran out of time and just skipped the turn after activating the Growth Chamber Guardian there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Clerge. <laughs> I'm the same age as Brian Kibler down to the day. It makes me wonder wh where I went wrong with my life. No, you don't, you don't need to compare yourself to Brian Kibler. He has had a very successful... Uh, life. He's been, you know, very fortunate and everything, and there's, there are people that are more fortunate than than us, and that's and that's okay. Uh, I don't really like, I don't know, I guess I don't really like comparing lives. I think just, all you, all you need to do is enjoy your life. That's, if you can enjoy your life, that's good. You don't, don't need to put it up to scale against other people's. I'm going to be playing... Yeah, the Mono Green Tron list is on the Stream Decker. I'm going to be playing the... Like, the Wayward Swordtooth in there. Good, Elysia. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. I hope you learned how not to punt from the YouTube videos. That's good. I'm, I'm very glad. Alright, so I'll be casting Deafening Clarion next turn. I wanted to duress there and see if there was a removal spell that was going to kill my Resplendent Angel. <clears throat> Clarion, of course, doesn't kill these 4-4s, four but it, I'm just going to be using Clarion for lifelink and then attack with my 6 power in the air so I can gain 6. Um, and then also trigger Resplendent Angel after gaining 6. Yeah, this is just Mardu Angels, yeah. We just have a feather in our angel deck. We don't we don't have any way to like this is just three mana, three, four flying. The rest of the text isn't anything that matters. Uh no, Resplendent Angel will not be reprinted. Like mythics don't get reprinted like that. Like immediately. That doesn't happen. So no, Resplendent Angel will be rotating out. So if I don't block, I would have lethal if I draw a land, and if they don't have a burn spell. It's just pretty... It's pretty tough if, so I'm going to be blocking here. Yeah, and it couldn't be a shock land. That's correct, yeah. So I, I need a block.
yes, Soren would be good in the deck with Resplendent Angels and Flyers. Yes, it, Soren does work well with Resplendent Angel. Um, I kind of talked about that at the beginning of the video when I was talking about the deck, but I'm going Immortal Sun route to really focus on the Angels more than... The Ansoran route. I'm in huge trouble. If I play Immortal Sun, I die. Like it's just lethal. It's just it's just lethal if I play Immortal Sun. Because I can only block two creatures. Four would come through, and Scargon Hellkite's activated ability does too. So it's just lethal on board if I play Immortal Sun. Man, I, I should block first before doing this. Just to get the block in. I have to get Hellkite out of here. I mean, if I block Guardian with Resplendent, they still just kill my... I mean, I might as well just take... It costs them mana, at least. No, no, because now Hellkite's not going to die. No, I can't do this. Yeah, now Hellkite doesn't die. Life gain resolves at the same time as other damage. So I have to draw a Liver Dawnbringer. I guess. I think that's my only out. Um Yeah, I I should I should not have blocked like that. I should have just blocked the Hellkite. But I'm I would still be dead though. Nah. That's not gonna do it. All these four fours are too good against Stephanie Clarion. Get that card in here. That one, this one. I want Lester S. That card was pretty bad for us. I do still want the Clarions, I think. I think they can still be good. Maybe just no Duress, no Daredevil. Yeah. I'll still keep the suns and stuff. Oh, it's 59. Oh, give me back this angel. Um, hey, Yud. Ooh, I need to see if, if I have a thumbnail here for this deck.
All right, shout out to the treasure maps. All right, gotta find us more lands. Treasure map. Yeah, I think all the triumphs are uncommons. Yeah, I could make an Esper Angel's deck. Ooh. Get in there. I gotta keep that card. That card's too good, even though it's not a land. Dang, I was hoping they were gonna do the counter. Land. I would like a land drop, please. Nope. Well, I guess we have to use all these treasures. So we got to use all those. Hey, we doc. Clarion? Clarion? No, that card's not any good. Clarion? Clary off. Alright, so I'll just take my draw step here so that uh, no matter what, I can play this era for the scales. We're probably going to hit a land pocket here pretty soon. We haven't seen very many lands at all this game. You know, we've only seen one land through, uh, you know, f I guess 15 cards, really. Yep, land pocket has started. So they didn't end up playing that other Growth Chamber Guardian. Pretty likely we're dead. So you know any basically any red spell is gonna kill us here in the next couple of turns. Ooh. Never mind, we may not be dead after all. Oh, they had a red spell, that's lame. Lame. All right, well, Growth Chamber Guardian was a huge pain, both of those games. Both of those games, Growth Chamber Guardian was the card that killed us. Card's pretty strong. It's a sneaky strong. Yeah, dang those red spells. I just need that last card to not be a red spell. And then them also not draw a red spell the next turn. And then I would have had it, because then I would have untapped with Lyra.
Yeah, I don't know. That that just happens sometimes. People say good game, keep playing. It just happens sometimes. Grow from the ashes. That's cool. All right, our opponent has all the lands they could ever want. They do not have mana creatures anymore. Those are gone. Like the uh, Tamio, like no. And find. Cannot cause you to sacrifice permanence. So, and Grass Rampage is just dead against Tamio. Why couldn't they play Nissa? I could, I could make them sack Nissa. Can't make them sack Tamio. Together we will prevail. Well, Lyra Dawnbringer, we're gonna have your work cut out for you. I know I noted this somewhere. So the mending of Dominaria. Trying to return all these lands back into play. All right, well, my Lyra can, like, trade with that one now, but we're not beating all the other stuff they have. So we need Elder Spell, get another Duress in here. Um, need these to Sparks. Another Clarion, and another Immortal Sun, and a Cleansing Nova. Let's get these Angrass Rampages out of there against the Tamio deck. Hey, what's up, Justification? Thanks for that sub there. Ninth sub of the day. So this is 66. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the coils. All right, not playing Daredevil. And Angel of Grace and one Seraph. This is going to be it's going to be tough for us like these big mana decks that play all these steel effects are just <laughs> really, really good against, like, you know, four mana creatures with no ETB effect. Um, or anything, you know, like, this is just, this is a tough matchup for us. I was not really wanting to play against one of these with our Mardu Angels deck. But we're going to try. Haven't lost yet. Girl from the Ashes is pretty sweet. It's like more mana that I don't get to kill with a Clarion. See 
seek shelter in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Just have one blue source right now. Please do not draw a blue source. The land shall conquer you. Already got one of those. Um, so Clarion now or wait again? I mean, this Nissa is about to ultimate. No blue source. Oh, no. No, that's a problem. Now they get to Frilled Mystic. They still can't Manipulation. So the problem, so if I would have Clarion the previous turn, then the Nissa was going to be able to ultimate. But maybe I would have just found a removal spell for Nissa, though. Kill these. Let us talk of peace. Z, Z, Z. Undo. There we go. Two of those. Yeah, an, an island would have stolen my... They would have been able to s steal the Lyra with an island. And this doesn't stop manipulation. Well, let's see. Wait, I kill Nyssa, and then they just have four mana. So let's let's keep this on top. I play some some defense here. Cuz even if they draw a land they'll only have 5 mana cuz they don't have the double mana anymore with Nessa dead. And so this game is why we're playing Deafening Clarion. All these Nessas around. Whoops. Didn't have an upkeep stop for that Sacred Foundry. Yeah, we would have just got to land anyway.
Go surf the skills. So another Clarion would kill both my Seraphs, but it would get rid of like everything that they have. You want to build an Abzian anti-meta deck? All right, so yeah, Tristani's. Yep, uh, Mortal Sun would be good there. Uh, maybe uh, Assassin's Trophies. It's gonna be tougher on the draw. You know, def you know, we don't get to like Clarion on the play is gonna be better than Clarion on the draw for us against those mana creatures. Hey Morgan. Like we've seen our opponent have turn three Nissa quite a bit. And like they had one game turn three Tamiya, the other game turn three Nissa. And both of those are like before I get to Clarion. Good job, Motek. Way to pass your driver test. Yeah, Mortal Sun is very good in this metagame. Absolutely. Uh, you can have Takali Honor Guards if you want those in your Abzan anti metagame deck. Those, those counter. Uh, Explore pack, Expl yeah, the explore package. Get black white. I don't think there's gonna be any spell that they were gonna play on turn two that I would like necessarily need to duress away. The way to turn. So they have a Nissa and a Melody. Surprised they kept that hand. It's a very, very slow hand. With their deck full of mana creatures. Surprised they kept that. So I can have another angel on turn four here. And then turn five I can play Lyra. And give them both lifelink. And gain a lot of life and get a whole bunch of angels. If I don't hit the land drop for Lyra... We can Clarion and give my creatures lifelink. Hoping they did not draw another Melody. The big problem with me playing the Lyra, though, is if they have a mass manipulation, they could, like, next turn manipulate, steal the Lyra, and then I can't get through against Lyra. All right, come on, land. All right, well, now, you know, obviously want to get above crisis so please do not steal Lyra that's the card they need is mass manipulation as long as they don't have that we'll win if they have manipulation please no 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 manipulation no the only card uh, the only card What a tilt. They're super dead the next turn. Just one card, and their whole deck could save them.
I can't I can't swing through Lyra. My attacks are awful. There's there's no good attacks here. The land fights for us. So they have frilled mystic still. There we go. That was a good one. Got team. All right, got there. Well, our opponent didn't have a choice there. They had to, they had to counter that because otherwise, otherwise they don't get to cast their Frilled Mystic because they just don't have the mana. Like if I, you know, if the Elder Spell resolves, then the Nissa, then they don't have the four mana anymore. So, yeah, Dispark was perfect. All right, we are two and one. Mardu Angels doing its thing. That's what I said after that game, after game one, I said that I didn't really like our chances, but we hadn't lost yet. And there we go. Game two, we got to Deafening Clarion away a whole bunch of lands that they nissed. Like, our sideboard was clutch. Also, the Elder Spell, uh, Dispark, clutch sideboard. But going, they just kept way too slow of a hand. The fact that we got to go Resplendent, Resplendent, and then Lyra, and attack through, and they had like basically nothing at that point with like their deck full of mana creatures and mana acceleration. They should have shipped their hand. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, if they would have just floated mana, let Nissa die to Elder Spell, then I could just go to combat and then cast a spark. So, yeah, like, they. That's certainly. You, casting the Frilled Mystic was the correct play. Um. I question is is treasure map necessary and I think the deck is better with treasure map than without it. But I know you're saying that you don't have the treasure maps. So I think you could try try replacing them. But I don't think I don't think the deck's better without treasure map. We begin. <laughs> Magnificent! Well, Grixis always has ways to kill the Mortal Sun. I hope that this. I hope they don't have any more in hand. They used a Bedevil earlier. Maybe that was their only one in their hand. Please let us untap. I didn't have a good attack with just activating Resplendent Angel because the the Sarkin passive ability, even though like I could have activated Resplendent Angel and made it a five five, the Sarkin passive ability would have dealt a damage to it. So like I could have just Lava Coiled the four four and then attacked Sarkin, but I think just playing a Mortal Sun's a better play than the just the Lava Coil and attack. All right, now in case, I think my opponent, yeah, they did just shock in this turn, so I don't know exactly what they're gonna have. So in case they have, I 
listen to them roar. In case they have like a lightning strike. I don't want to let them block and lightning strike. Definitely seeing Grixis list playing lightning strikes because it's a strong card. Ah, they had insight. Yeah, to do a donation deck, um, the there's a lot of information down below in the in the info panel. Uh, just check out like the info panels. There's a donation one there. Um, but yeah, you just click the the donate link, um, which is the title of the the donation panel. And usually it's twenty dollars for your deck, or it's thirty dollars if you would like me to build a deck. If you just have like a, a card or two that you want me to play, and you and you want me to build a deck around those. I train every day. And you can tell no me what whatever day you want me to play it, and whatever time slot, first, second, third, or fourth. Um, you know, whatever time slot works for you, and whatever day. You know, you can be like, please play this next Monday first or you know anything like that and i'll take care of it Keep an open basically mind. all basically every time slots open there's usually maybe one or two time slots not open at a time so it's not dragons. it's not usually ever a problem like right now the only time slots that are not open are tomorrow second and third So yeah, I could play Seraph here, but instead of playing Seraph, I'll just, you know, I'll get a free 4-4 where I'll still have the Seraph in hand. Uh, Luna, the, for the, whenever the MPL plays during the weekend, they usually submit their deck a week in advance. So they're usually a, just a tad bit behind on like the, the very latest standard technology but besides that it's still the it's still just filled with great players and um, and everything so yeah they they have good deck lists there Now the question is, do I actually kill these things, or do I just attack them? I guess I just attack them, put them down to two. Um, yeah, Floyd, uh, I don't, I'm not doing any modern anymore, just standard. So... Actually, just don't even have. I ended up just selling my Magic Online collection and everything too, so not uh, not doing donation decks for standard at all, or sorry for for modern at all. All right, we got game one. So, Grixis, Super Friends, Immortal Sun is still awesome in this matchup, but it's not reliable like against Desper with them having Bedevils and Grass Rampages, you know, those cards that we saw there. I don't think that means that we take it out, though. Definitely want Command the Dread Horde, definitely want these Disparks, definitely want these Legion War Bosses. Maybe another one. Hmm. We have a lot of good stuff for this matchup. And this is 67 cards. So I think I think we just have to start taking out the angels, right? Because, like, the angels are just are pretty easy to kill one for one. All right, so what if we take out all these one of angels? Yeah, like, all those angels just kind of die. I mean, 
even like I guess like they have like resplendent or they have like ritual of sits. I mean, we were really fortunate with how like resplendent angel worked out there. It doesn't usually work out like that. Yeah, what if we have what if we cut resplendent angel because of ritual sets? Um, I still have I still have just spark and Angrass rampage that killed the other nickel bolus. I could cut treasure maps, but they're good. They help us play into the late game. I think this is what I'm going to do is just play this here. Could get rid of Lyra instead of resplendent. No, let's let's go with this. No, I don't play Keyforge. No. How do we win? We'll just win with the other angels that we have. We have we have. Uh, I just brought in four Legion War bosses, so that's uh, four more creatures. So even though I cut a lot of creatures, I I also brought in Legion War bosses and also. Uh, and also direfully daredevils. So like, I did bring in some creatures too. All right, we will leave them with the two five mana planeswalkers for now. Uh, if you're playing an anti-meta deck, would you run a bunch of Unmored Egos? I don't know if you really need Unmored Egos, TBH. Weren't you saying that you are going to be making an, an Abzan version? Because then... Amorti goes blue and black. See, so yeah, I played the Shalai so that they don't get to kill the, the war boss with Nicol Bolas. You go over there. You, you, and you go this way. Really? I gotta lose one at a time. Another time, planeswalker. Yeah, it's really hard to hate somebody out with a Mordi Go. Yep, that's what War Boss can do. Fast win. Duress with War Boss to protect it. Pretty good plan. This deck's working pretty well, honestly. I'm liking. Liking how our deck's playing so far. Okay, so Unmoored Ego, when you name a card that's in your opponent's hand, they get to draw another card to replace it. So you never... All you do with Unmoored Ego is take some cards out of their deck, but you never take any cards out of your opponent's hand. Which is the problem with the card is it's always card disadvantage. You're always spending a card to not take any cards out of your opponent's hand. Hmm. 
Damn. There is no greater honor than serving. Put me out front. Frisky biscuits. Thanks for the cheers there. Go, Mardu Angels. <laughs> Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. That's such a sweet name. Frisky Biscuits. It's a good one. I'll block them all. So it says there that... Uh, Frisky Biscuits cheer shared rewards to 13 others in chat. I don't know what that really means. Those who cannot proceed beyond the veil of reality are lost. Uh, yeah, I guess I am going to need a land. Hone your prowess. Ugh. This is kind of the problem with these angels. They get bounced by little Teferi. Oh, that's not so bad. You can bounce the treasure map. That's cool. I am not going to sit this one out. Don't worry. I got this. Meditate and prepare. Share at least 200 bits to earn two of 20 exclusive emotes to use in June, and unlock a gift emote for other viewers. Ah. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's take it back. Well, hopefully we draw our immortal sons. Here we go. So especially after sideboard, I like our chances here with have you know whenever we get to bring in all of our elder spells and Trust me, then you know bring in another immortal sun also. Let's skip to the good part. But maybe we'll top deck an immortal sun here. Your loss will either be a tragedy or comedy. We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent, and you're, well, not. So yeah, we just can't even really double spell, so... Playing the mustn't... Uh, expensive thing in my hand. I can't really play Shalai and try to protect other things because Shalai will just get like Hurry. bounced by Little Teferi. But I guess that would take out Little Teferi. I'll protect you. The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Just gonna keep on keeping on over here. Playing the angels. Oh, well, I guess that's a reason to that I should have played Shalai previously. We need to move quickly. <laughs> you think our opponent's playing Super Friends? Good call. I think so too. We 
just going to keep whittling down these Planeswalkers. Eventually, they won't be able to dove and mine us anymore. You know, they have millions of cards in hand. You know what? I'm not done yet. Let's slow this down. All right. Bounce oh, this. I've done the hero thing before. Just got to find a mortal stone. We got two of them in here. And we got to hope our opponent doesn't have a counter spell. I still get to untap two mana because it's a fairy. Looking to elevate yourself. Uh, perhaps a pair of stilts? I guess I can play Shalai and Seraph here. But let's scry instead. Hmm. That card's not bad. So yeah, Urzarunas Blast has been the only card we've seen that we can Daredevil here. I find your attacks unoffensive. No time for a break. Yeah, we could have double spelled with the Resplendent Angel. But I mean, all these cards in like the, that Resplendent Angel is not going to win this really. I think I need to find Immortal Sun. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. I've got time. No, I don't have any Elder Spells in the main deck, no. Hey Simon, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. That's our 10th sub of the day. That means we're going to be cracking a pack after this. I guess I should have played the Sarah first. And yeah, as, as you can tell, I was willing to use those treasures because uh, our treasure map was going to get blown up. But yeah, I guess I should have just played the Sarah first. Thought. 
right on schedule. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right, still looking for our immortal son. Looks like I'm going to be sideboarding out direfully Daredevil. We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent in your... Well, not. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Uh, this is taking a while here. I have just the trick for this. Yeah, they're trying to ultimate the fairy. Wow, that whiffed? That's a surprise. The, the problem with having a treasure in play, you have to click you have to click resolve to every little thing. Doesn't matter if you have the auto pass going or not. So good news that treasure will go. Now we don't have to worry about clicking okay to everything now. Alright, so we're playing Mardu Angels. Put thoughtfulness before action. Let's try this. I find your attacks unoffensive. All right, and that's game. Our opponent gets the ultimate to fairy here. Now the Teferi ultimate closes it up. Alright. Let's get some stuff in here. Duress, Elder Spells, Command the Dread Horde, War Bosses, Desparks, Immortal Sun, get rid of Daredevil, get rid of Clarion. Get rid of Coil. You know, Coil killing Shalai earlier was pretty nice. We'll get rid of a Feather. Or I guess, I guess I need to keep the Legends in and get rid of the non-Legends. So let's get rid of these Seraphs. Let's play Mortify also to kill Shalai and, and Lyra and get rid of the non-legends. All right, looks good. Feather's just a three mana, three, four flyer for our deck. It survives Clarion. It helps us gain life with Clarion. Also for a Splendid Angel or, you know, it's just a, it's a three mana, three, four. That's all it's, all it is. Double Disdainful Stroke, Narset, Prison Realm. Let's get rid of the Prison Realm. And hope... Ugh. Alright, I'm going to take this Narset too. Alright, come on, red mana. Come on, deck. No! All right, we got a couple scries to red mana now. Gosh, 
gosh, that's such a good card, but it's not red mana. It's not a good card, and it's not red mana. No. Red mana. Wish I had that elder spell still. I don't think it's worth it to play the other war boss with the three treasures here. I think it's just better to wait a turn to be able to draw three cards over time. Grind to the top. So I don't think that my opponent kept in Urza's Ruinous Blast if they're playing Prison Realms, because that's not a good combination. At least we gotta shuffle that Elder Spell back, I suppose. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely to fail. A few things can withstand my careful scrutiny. Oh, wait. Now I don't have white for this to spark. Yeah, war boss is annoying. Can't even do that either. You have to go one by one with war boss out here. When there's war boss and a planeswalker. So I know. The war boss doesn't do any damage, but it does still have the mentor, so we want to be able to mentor. So we'll just be able to do the four here to the Dovin. The can't be denied. I am beaten. <laughs> we need a rude emote. Rude. That's a good emote. I like that. That's a good one. These the sparks have been clutch. Clutch to sparks. All right, game three. Let's go, Mardu Angels. Good opener. Let's go ahead and just do it here in case we draw something on turn two. Uh, I don't really care about Dovin. Dovin's a big whatever. Minus. Your minus one. Will either be a nah, tragedy minus. or comedy of errors. Here comes the boss. Uh, 
I'm astonished that succeeded. All right, so mobilize district. My acute awareness of your imperfections okay. is maddening. I was gonna say that I had to be worried about mobilize district there. So Shalai was going to be able to block one of these, uh, one of these creatures anyway, but now we're incentivizing it, Shalai, to block the, the creature that is not have that does not have the mentor trigger. So yeah, now we get to keep the two two instead of keeping the one one. Slip up is rare. So that's nice. <laughs> We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent, and you're, well, not. If you wish to surrender, now, keep an open mind. My nose. Hmm. Okay. So you will mentor onto here, and you will mentor onto there. So we have a 4-2 and a 3-3, three, three, both attacking Narset. So Narset's going to be dying. And then we'll have the 2-2 two, two attacking them. So if they want to block the 2-2, two, two, they can. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense for me to play the treasure map this turn because of the Ruinous Blast. Well, it really isn't doing any damage. It really was minus on. The thing that playing the treasure map, even though it does, even though it get ruinous blast, it would at least give me like another option of maybe hitting the land drop. Honestly, that could be worth it here with these double immortal suns. Of like just giving me two looks at hitting a land here. <laughs> we had the land on top. Oh well. So graveyards just have a Narset and a Dovin right now. Yeah, for the Mono Red Crisis list, uh, you can find it here on the Stream Decker page. There's all my decks there. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. The video is also already up on the YouTube channel as well. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Check it out there as well. What are you doing with this mobilized district? What are you doing with that thing? Are you attacking with it? No, just activating? And sometimes you just gotta activate. I understand. All right, so let's mortify you so that I can kill this Narset so I can start drawing two cards a turn. <laughs> Such <violent laughs> Sometimes you just got to activate. Not do anything else. That's a cool card. Recklessness and fear. Don't want to activate it? Hmm. Alright. So 
do I just want to pay for life and grab a Shalai? Pay seven life, get Shalai and Narset. Yeah, it's just this grabby blue white deck. Narset and Shalai. We seen them have Chemister's Insight, I think. Or maybe that was the last opponent that had Chemister's Insight. Maybe it was the last one. I don't remember. Whatever. If they have a card draw spell, they don't get to use it. War boss was exiled. We can't get War boss. Oh. Interesting. I should be able to get some life back. Ooh, no disdainful stroke. Don't have to worry about Settle. Shalai is protecting Jaya from Settle the Wreckage. And the Angel's getting it done again. Our post board against these. Like, been winning a lot of post board games. I think that's like the third match in a row that we've like lost game one and then won games two and three. I don't remember if I lost game one against Grixis, actually. No, I guess we won, won that game one, but. I think we won game two, though, also. Our sideboard plan's been, been doing really good. <clears throat> All right. Final boss. Thanks, Daryl. GG's. Let's get this final boss playlist. Let's go. We are four and one. Yeah, these kind of mid-range decks do rely on sideboard quite a bit, and ours has been has been clutch for us. Duress, Thought Erasure, Azkanta. So I could take Duress so we get to play Treasure Map. But Azkanta is just so ridiculously good that I don't think that that's worth it. They didn't play dur Duress turn one. Oh, they couldn't play Duress turn one. They couldn't even play Duress. All right, we're great. I'm not going to activate Treasure Map here before I draw, because really anything that I draw is just fine. There's not like any single card that I need. I may draw like a three drop, like a Splendid Angel or something that I, w or that I get to play. I don't really need to dig for anything here before my draw step. Uh, all their black sources would come come into play tapped on turn one. They didn't have an untapped black source for duress, so the steam vents lets all those other lands come into play untapped. I guess I should have played the Sacred Foundry. 
or whatever. Do I discard Lyra? Pretty sure I do. I don't want to just play. I don't want to just have four lands. If I discard this land, the Lyra would just get thought erasured away. Anyway. Told y'all. All, All y'all were like, oh, you punted. You got rid of your spell. Who punted now? Now I have this land that I wouldn't have had. I don't know why our opponent cast the duress, but the casting the thought erasure makes sense to pick up the disinformation campaign. I will spare you. I hope they take up in exchange for eternal servitude. Tick up, tick up. No, not down. No. I am death's master. I mean, I just get to attack the bolus. Let's look for something else. I don't want to be sitting with a spell in my hand against this information campaign. Anyway. No. So ba basically that, all that, all the, uh, the only text on that Angress Rampage was just two mana deal four damage to the opponent, right? Because if I would have kept that, I would have just made them sacrifice the bullets and attack them for four. And I don't think I want to, I didn't want to draw a card that just said deal four damage to the opponent. It's not a quality card. My intellect is without limit. Mm. I will return. All right, Lyra pumping up the Seraph. Worked out pretty well there. Focused and disciplined, encounter no obstacles. And there we go. Uh, yeah, the final boss playlist is right there. That's my final boss playlist. All right, got that game. 
And we played against Grixis already, bringing all the same stuff we did before. Uh, cut that angel, cut the Aurelia, cut the feather, cut the resplendence. The clarions and the coils. Maybe I don't want both Elder Spells. <laughs> Would I rather play a Mortify or a Splendid over an Elder Spell? Nah, I'll just play the Elder Spells. Why isn't Boros a thing? Um, there's, there's not really good Boros Planeswalkers. Like, the only one is, like, Huatli. Which is weird like all these other combinations have so many but boros just has huatli um boros doesn't have i don't know it doesn't really have the card advantage basically like maybe it could i mean you could play like frenzy and stuff i mean basically you can play like mono red but like what does the white give you if you play like you know like a really red aggressive deck there's not really you know it's, it's hard to make a boros deck that's better than mono red or that does anything appreciably better than mono red. You can make it, you know, like a mid range deck. You can make like a Boros mid range to beat mono red kind of thing, but then that's going to lose to control kind of stuff. It's like when you're when you're playing Boros, you might as well play three colors. You know, whether it's like Mardu or Naya um, or Jeskai. Yeah, we're basically Boros Splash Black in this deck, yeah. Um, I don't play very much best of one, honestly, so I, I can't really definitively say if this deck would be good in best of one. Um, it may be. I don't really know. Like, Deafening Clarion and Angels, like Lyra and stuff, seem to be pretty good in best of one. And Immortal Sun against, like, Esper decks, if there's Esper Planeswalker decks in best of one, I'm not sure. Is Jund the worst color combination in standard right now? No. It's definitely something with definitely something with red-white for the worst color combination. Um, probably Naya or Mardu. One of those. It would, it'd be Naya and Mardu would be worse than Jund. Those are probably the three worst. Like, just thinking off the top of my head. Every color with blue is good. So it's definitely the non-blue co color combinations. Blue is the best color in standard. Just like, it usually is in Magic. For some reason, Wizards likes, likes making blue just the best color all the time. Do we have disconnected final boss? Well, a little bit of an anticlimactic final boss there. But that's still a 5 1 for Mardu Angels. We'll take that. And take all these event rewards. Give me those gems. Uh, we also hit hit our 10th subscriber during that also. So we hit a, a sub goal. So that means we need to crack a pack. So let's go use some of those. Uh, some of that gold we just got to go crack a pack. All right. See if we get a mythic. So we always want. We want mythics. Not a mythic. Sweet art, though. Cool art. All right, so yeah, our Mardu Angels plan worked. Uh, I talked a ton about this deck already at the beginning of the video. For those of you, so if you're watching this on YouTube, like at the beginning of the video, I talked all about like the card choices and everything, so I don't need to go back over all of them. Uh, everything felt pretty good. The Angras Rampages were a little disappointing against like a Tamiyo, um, but I... 
I still like this card more than like Bedevil, and I would keep playing the, the card. There was other times where the Rampages worked out pretty well, being two mana removal. They can hit the Planeswalkers, and, you know, just be uh, versatile. Um, yeah, everything worked out really well. Like, Disparks were very... Like, our sideboard was really good, with Dispark, uh, War Boss being really strong in the sideboard. Immortal Sun was great. Um, Deafening Clarion was great. Dire Fleet Daredevil was good most of the time. Duress main deck was really strong for us. So yeah, there we go. Mardu Angels worked out really well. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Mardu Angels. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you for another video.